Hello people from James Cambridge International School. Today I'm going to be reading from a study she was reading. So I decided to be reading. And I'm going to be reading Vacation Under the Volcano. So let's get ready. I'm going to be reading till page, page 3 because if I read till 10 or 5, because this, this video is only 5 minutes. So let's get started. First page. Jack reached into his drawer and took out his secret library card. He held the thin piece of the wood and ran his fingers over its shimmering letters. ML, Master Librarian, he whispered. Jack couldn't believe, and his sister Annie were finally Master Librarians. He wondered if he should pack the secret card to take on vacation. His family is about to leave for a week in the mountains. Just then, Annie stuck her head into Jack's room. Want to check the wood, she asked. Every morning, they looked into Frog Creek Wood to see if Morgan Le Fay and her magic tree has returned. We can't, said Jack. We're leaving soon. But what if Morgan's there, said Annie? What if she's waiting for us? Oh, okay, said Jack. Let's look fast. He grabbed his backpack. He threw it in his notebook, his pencil, and his secret library card. Then he followed Annie downstairs. We'll be back soon, Annie called. Don't go far, their dad called. We're leaving in 20 minutes. Don't worry, we'll be back in 10, said Annie. Right through, Jack. Five minutes to the woods and five minutes back. Even if Morgan sent them an adventure, they would return at exactly the same time that they left. Jack and Annie ran out of the front door. In the bright morning sunshine, they buried across the lawn and down the street. I had a nightmare last night, said Annie. What was it, said Jack. I dreamed that fires were burning, said Danny. Everything was smoky and dark, and the ground was shaking. Do you think it was a warning? Nah, said Jack. Nightmares never come true. They left the sidewalk and headed into the Frog Creek woods. The woods were quiet and peaceful. They walked between sunlight. I hope you guys like this book, and I'll see you guys next time if Miss Teddy makes other books to read.